You know, I've been hearing about this guy. Um, yeah, Dave Blunts. I've been hearing about this guy. It's looking like he can't put down the fork either. He could probably barely even get up. Now, in case you guys didn't know, this is Dave Blunts, the, the fattest down. rapper of 2024. Forget Rob Wave. Forget Fat Joe. Forget Rick Ross. T Grizzly. Biggie Smalls. Big Pun. Max O Cream. Killer Mike. Forget all of them. Cause now we finally have the fat rapping nigga final boss, Mr. <laughs> Dave Blunts. <laughs> Did he just rhyme fat N word with the hard R with bitch get her? <laughs> what? No, I'm not gonna lie. After hearing that for the first time, I, I genuinely was taken aback. Like, I was legitimately flabbergasted. Me like, bro really came out here saying, niggas hate on me because I'm a fat n. I don't care because I'm a bitch getter. Like, <laughs> how are you out here calling yourself a fat n? Your hard R and then proceeding to rhyme it with bitch getter like <laughs> like this man is wild That's and bro then said wild. I got Jewish money the fuck Hitler got a white bitch she a wrist litter <laughs> referencing Jews and Hitler in the same bar is just crazy and saying you got a white bitch and she's a wrist litter is even more diabolical then he <laughs> those are crazy ass bars I can't even lie that's that's insane bars a dude named Seth Tobin just exposing this man saying he heard he's a kid diddler like who the hell is even Seth Tobin he said he heard that it was a pedophile in the most melodically soothing audibly comforting way possible yeah that like, shit was kind of fire Give this man a Grammy Pitiful. nomination now. Madison, this dude just... Oh my... Bro. Bro actually said the girl's name in the song. Like, who is even Madison? Bro's out here <laughs> just rapping so melodically and emotional and bopping his no neck having ass so passionately <laughs> and it's just reaching the dark depths of my heart. Like, that shit's touching my soul. <laughs> I can't even lie, bro. This shit is kind of cold, bro. It's kind of cold. Dave Blood's kind of cold. Yeah, got a four kids on the bad bitches on my dick. I get a new bitch and it don't work because I'm thinking about Madison. I told the judge you're thinking about Madison. Me, I should go to Mary Bro, who is Madison, bro? What did Madison do to this nigga, bro? What did Madison do to this dude that he's literally rapping about her so so heartbroken like this? He said that every time that he goes there, it feels just like he's in heaven. Wow. Bro said, I got a new bitch and it don't work because I'm thinking about Madison. I talked to Jesse Jones and he told me I should go to Mary's on second. He told me that every time that he goes there, it feels like he's just in heaven. Clearly, the song's about a girl named Madison that he just can't get over even when he's with a new girl. Bro got ED. He can't even get it up because he's so heartbroken. Tell me this man's not spit. I told him, hold on. I love all my niggas, but I don't swing that way. He's like, I'm just playing. Don't go there because that's a club for the gay. <laughs> this shit is such a troll, bro. This is crazy. I'm just playing, don't go there, cause that's a club for the gay. That's a club for the gay. Just tell me how to get mad at sin or just get the fuck out my face. And that's what he told me. I should run it up and not give a fuck about a bitch. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Dave hey. Blunt. This man might just be the GOAT of 2024. Who knows? Hey, but it's Dave Blunt, fire. As we can all see on screen right now, this man is very fat, like he's beyond obese. He's morbidly obese. He could damn near take five steps before collapsing on the sidewalk. Like, look at yeah, this. Not it. Met the aura king. He's literally out of breath, bro. As OP said, Dave Blunts was on the brink of passing out backstage after performing while sitting on a chair. And after the show was done and he was trying to leave the set, he was out here just slumped up on the side of the wall trying to get back to his car. But he could barely make it there without collapsing. This shit is crazy. Like somebody even managed to get like a oh, nah. diagram chart of what this man's body looks like beneath all that fat. Like, how is this even possible? How are you walking around on planet Earth? Oh, my God. This is... This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm not. I'm nah, bro. I'm not. I'm not finna get involved in your beef, bro. You you deal with that beef on your own, bro. I'm not. I'm not finna get involved in your beef, my nigga. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> you know I fuck with you, bro, but I'm not finna get involved in your beef, bro. That's. That's for y'all niggas to figure out, bro. Because all of a sudden, if I say that shit and get involved, now niggas is coming to me hating on me, bro. Look, bro, you're gonna have to deal with that shit on your own, bro. I'm, I'm on your side, bro, but 
I ain't joining the beef, bro. Literally suffocating your whole skeletal system. Fracturing this your bones bad. with each step. Just because you can't put down the fork. And apparently he can't put down the cup either because he was recently interviewed talking about his addiction to lean and what uh, this is what he had going? to say. What were you going through when you recorded the cup? Oh, I just got out of the hospital and I was sipping every day. That was my life at the time. So I just made like a catchy song about it. Um, Were you able to stop? Like I know the withdrawals can be pretty bad. I have a pretty good handle on it. At least I think. You know, that's what every drug addict thinks. You know, I can stop anytime I want. The thing about it, me was you know i was sipping yeah but i was also broke so i couldn't afford that a lot of the time <laughs> so yeah i mean <laughs> yo, yo you know low-key being the being broke is the best way to overcome an addiction because you literally cannot cannot buy it you can't pay for it in case you, you really guys can't know, pay to do your addiction that shit is like the best lean, way to get over it codeine and you know they call it purple drink where they'll put sprite in a concoction of codeine promethazine which is typically provided by a company named walk you may have heard the lyrics in certain songs called walk or gotta get me to walk or i gotta plug that provides the walk short for walk hard and it's just sad because we all already know the the lean gut I'm lean a lot of these rappers sip on lean because there's a whole bunch of soda in it and soda has a whole bunch of calories and if you're drinking lean all day lean just to gut. stay high and you're out here in the studio recording those calories will add up over time and you will get fat and for a man like dave blunts who's probably like 500 pounds four times the size of the average man he probably needs four times the amount of lean just to feel the same we would feel sipping on the standard dosage and you can see why he's so large boy could barely sit on the edge of a couch without damn near destroying the entire thing but not only is dave blunts out here rapping providing entertainment to his bad. fans talking about how he got addicted to lean and revealing his love for a girl named Madison. He was out here also providing workout tips to one of his friends in a video that he posted tips. to social media. Check it out. Call me fat, and it bothered me. Mm -hmm. It like it you a little chubby. Is that dub? You know you a little chubby. Really? You, you you can work on. You got a few things you can work on. Like what do you? If you gave me like ain't a that fucking dub? Workout plan. What do you think? Like DDG, I mean, brother. Shit, I'm the last nigga to be giving out workout plans, but you got some things you need to work out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> Hey, if you had to give me like workout play, what do you think? Um, I think like light cardio, you know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, jogging, you know what I'm saying? Treadmill. Okay. Um, yeah. Bro really said like cardio, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Treadmill with a straight ass face. Like, bro, this man Dave is funny as hell, bro. Like, I mean, he did acknowledge he's the last. I mean, at this point, bro, he would have to get like weight loss surgery. He can't just, I mean, even if he did lose it, like, um, Organically, he would have to get surgery to get rid of all that extra skin. This person to be handing out workout advice, like given his stature and uh, length and width, but mostly width. But man, shout out to Dave Blunts, bro. Hopefully, he can get the weight under control. Like, clearly, this man's talented. He's passionate about art and rapping and creating melodies and all that. Like, I cool personally dude. think, despite him being horizontally challenged, I, I think he's a good ass rapper. Didn't listen to my mommy. Didn't yeah. listen to my mommy. Nah, nah, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. This this nigga just this nigga just used his inhaler while he's singing. Nah, bro. Hey, nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey, bro. We gonna have to get this shit under control, my boy. Hey, wait. Inhaler while you're singing is nasty work, bro. Nigga really had to pull out the inhaler just to spit more fire, bro. What the fuck? Niggas going outside now. They be trying to beef about a bitch. Why the fuck would you trust her when you know she out here doing dicks? Spent 10 days in the hospital. Know the ops happy I'm sick. But like, let's be for real here right now. Like, I mean, the music is fire, but nigga, an inhaler. <laughs> yes, yo. What ops does Dave Blunts have aside from Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, oh, KFC, Popeye, is, Checkers, Five This is diabolical. Guys, wing stop. Like, those are the real people trying to kill this man, if we're being honest, dude. That's diabolical, nigga. <laughs> what ops he got other than nigga list off every popular fast food chain? Yo. Did this man really just say, I was stranded in Mexico because my wristwatch called ice? Oh, hell no. Nah. This man is crazy, bro. <laughs> and proceeds to say, No, my name ain't Tyrone, but I'm here to fuck a nigga's wife. No, my name ain't Tyrone, <laughs> but I'm here to fuck. Nah, give it up to this man. They Yo, put, his bars are kind of heat, bro. Best, best rapper of 2024, man. Man's his got bars nice are kind of fire, flow, bro. Funny, hilarious, wild ass lyrics. Man, give this man a Grammy. Kendrick, fuck Drake, Uzi, Cardi, Travis. That, that fucking jacket here. Let's is Let's nominate dope. this man, Dave Blunts, man. Fuck on our back and I'm making her squirt. Hey, yo. Oh, <laughs> yo, nah, that was that was way too much. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh, making her 
<laughs> Yo, Dave needs to calm down, man. This is insanity. <laughs> 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 Bro, the way that just comes in, pause, bro. Fuck it up, back it up, make it a squirt. Dave needs to calm down, man. This is insanity. Fuck for not back it up, make it a squirt. Fuck for not back it up, make it a squirt. Yo, I, nah, this shit is hilarious to me, bro. Who is he? Who is he making squirt, bro? Like, what the? Yo, this man is crazy, bro. It's so funny because this man just doesn't care at all. Like, his level of not giving a fuckingness is just like, who just casually gets on the mic, happy and giddy as hell, bro, looking like a chunky ass jolly rancher, insane. Fuck for not back it up, make it. Oh my god, I'm getting tired of it, bro. Please. PSA, I'm gonna need whoever girl is letting <laughs> this man stop. doing this from the back to step up and announce yourself. Please explain to the world how you were able to do this without being crushed to death. Because I am genuinely curious. Alright. Something's not right about that fat Ooh, nigga, man. Shit, that's a Danny GB. I ain't never seen a nigga so big in so many places. How the fuck that nigga fit on airplanes? I'm thinking big mama house too. Gotta be a Yo, a is this nigga. a diss track <laughs> against Dave Blocks? Fuck running in a fat suit. I got a theory, he's an animatronic. I ain't never seen a nigga that big in my life. An animatronic. This nigga just said he's. I, oh my god, bro. You just called this nigga an animatronic. This is This is funny. This is this is wicked work. This nigga just called this nigga a fucking Five Nights at Freddy's character, bro. I ain't never seen a nigga sitting down so out of breath. I ain't never seen five XL pants so straight. I know all my life he never sit no fucking drink. He's so big if he wanted to not, he need the whole pint. I gotta know, I gotta know, I gotta know. Is he that big? I gotta know, I gotta know, I gotta know. Pants is my friend. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. Dave Bloods, bro. Please, please take care of yourself, my nigga.